morning children today we'll discuss about a uh, very important topic that is chemical reactions and uh, equations chemical reactions and uh, equation this is a 10th standard uh, first topic in chemistry that is chemical reactions and uh, equations <clears throat> what are chemical reactions so first of all you should know the definition of uh, chemical reactions a chemical reaction is a process where the reactant gets converted into product which may be under the influence of a catalyst some reactions need a catalyst what is catalyst catalyst is a substance which enhances the rate of reaction which enhances the rate of a reaction that is nothing but a catalyst so chemical reaction is a process where the reactant is converted into product okay sometimes in some reaction catalyst is needed in some reaction it is not needed catalyst is the one which enhances the rate of a uh, reaction okay a word equation shows a change of reactants to products through an arrow placed between the them so between the reactant and product we will show one arrow mark okay that arrow mark shows that the reactants are converted into product okay the reactants are written on the left hand side that is lhs with a plus sign okay with a plus sign between the two reactants between them similarly the products are written on the right hand side that is rhs with a plus sign between the products also so uh, suppose a is a product b is a, a is a reactant and b is a reactant a plus b gives rise to c plus d so that is uh, we are going to write a plus sign in between the reactants and the products okay to by bifurcate we are going to write it like that the arrowhead points towards the product and shows a direction of the direction of the reaction so it is always going to show us a direction of the reaction if the reaction is possible on both the side means you can if you are able to convert lhs to rhs rhs to LH, lhs we are going to put a reversible sign if it is not possible only reactants are reacted converted into product then we are going to write a, a irreversible sign that is about a chemical reactions how do we identify chemical reactions okay a chemical reaction is identified by any of these four factors so when you look at the uh, chemical reactions you are supposed to go through these important factors the first one change in state so in almost all the uh, what we call it as uh, reactions there will be a change of state state means solid to liquid liquid to gas that is a change of state sometimes maybe liquid in liquid means it may not be always change in a state but in most of the chemical reactions you can see change in the state okay second is change in color in some of the reactions not in all the reactions there will be a change in color precipitate will form color will form okay that is why change in color evolution of gas in some reactions there will be a evolution of gas evolution of gas means for example if metals are made to react with the acids hydrogen gas is evolved like that uh, evolution of gas is seen in some of the reaction change in temperature in some reactions what happen if it is a exothermic heat is released automatically the uh, temperature rises okay temperature rises which means that uh, uh, in some reactions you will find a change in temperature so before the reaction the temperature will be normal after the reaction temperature will rise like that it will be there that is a uh, we this is how we can identify a chemical reaction change in state change in color change evolution of gas and a change in temperature these are the important characteristic features of a chemical reaction according to the law of conservation of mass matter can neither be created nor be destroyed in a chemical reaction this is what uh, antony levisier scientist gave he introduced this law of conservation of mass that is why we are going to balance the equation so why we are balancing the equation to hold good the law of conservation of mass that is why we are balancing what uh, equation on either side rhs and lhs okay writing a chemical reaction a chemical equation represents chemical 
reaction so chemical equation always going to tell about a chemical reaction if you call if you recall the formula of a magnesium oxygen and magnesium oxide the above word equation can be written as mg plus o2 gives rise to mgo so just look at that mg that is a uh, magnesium plus oxygen going to give you what magnesium oxide that is going to give you the magnesium oxide this is how writing a chemical equation then balancing of a chemical reaction so why the if we have to balance the equation on both the sides okay to balance a chemical equation first draw boxes around the each formula which formula do not change anything inside the boxes while balancing the equation which means that whatever the elements that you are going to write if at all if you want to balance it you have to put the number before that element name okay so you are not supposed to change the what we call it as element name or you are not supposed to change the number of elements present in that only thing you can put a prefix whatever if you want to put a uh, hydrogen write it as h2 as it is okay if you want to balance it if you want to put 2 before hydrogen you put 2 h2 that is uh, balancing method okay list the number of atoms of different elements present in the unbalanced equation so you are supposed to take uh, uh, unbalanced elements which are present in rhs side first when you take rhs side then you will get an idea to balance the uh, LHS also RHS and LHS can be balanced like this way start balancing with the compound that contains a maximum number of atoms okay so you are suppose you, this is a, a simple trick start balancing with a compound that contains maximum number of atoms so, so if compound is in the left hand side or right hand side if it is in the reactant side or product side take the one which has a maximum number of atoms because other side you can balance it very easily it may be a reactant or product in that compound the select the elements which has a maximum number of atoms so if it has a maximum number of atoms then it if you take that only the first then you can balance either side balance the unbalanced item this is very important finally to check the correctness of a balanced equation we count atoms of each element on both the sides of the equation see this this is there's the only technique that you have to count the number on either side if rhs becomes equal to lhs then the reaction is holds good to make a chemical equation more informative the physical state of reactants and products are mentioned also so to make it more informative because after writing an element name if you write the states of that particular element it is very uh, informative for example h2o if you take h2o may not be always in liquid form sometimes it is in the gaseous form so in bracket you if you write g that indicates that water is in gaseous form if you write l water is in a liquid state okay so even if h2 in bracket if you write yes that indicates that ice ice will be solid so like that you can mention the states of matter like g means gas l means liquid aq means aqueous s means solid respectively the word equation is written if the reactant or product is present present as a solution in water